All right, so here's the example as promised. Uh, we're given a vector valued function here. Um, now, in this case, uh, notice that it's, it's a lin both components are linear functions of t. So um, if we were to bother graphing this, we would get a straight line. Uh, I think we'll skip the graphing. Um, but uh, this gives us a straight line, but um, it's a straight line that is traversed, right? If we look at, you know, what is the magnitude of our prime? Well, our prime is the vector 3, 4, right? So our prime happens to be a constant vector in this case. Of course, that's usually not going to be the case. Um, so that vector 3, 4, well, we know that that has magnitude 5, right? Usual Pythagorean theorem, 3, 4, 5. Um, great. So if you think about what that means, right, you know, magnitude of r prime, we, we interpret that as speed. So, so this is, you know, it is a line. Uh, I mean, I suppose we could, we could plot, you know, why don't we, why don't we draw it? Let's draw it. What is our line? Um, when t is equal to 0, we're at the point x is minus 1, uh, y is minus 2. Um, and our slope, right, is going to be, what is the slope going to be? 4 over 3, right? Um, we can, you know, or just plot another point. When t is equal to 1, we're at the point 2, 2, 2. Okay, 1, 2, 1, 2. Go through there, okay. So, you know, however you want to do it, right? But yeah, it's, there's our line. Okay. And... So we have a, a line that's traversed as t increases, and we move along that line at a constant speed of 5. Okay. Um, now, if we want to move along that line at a, a constant speed of, let's say, 1, then we should use the arc length parameter. right? And so s, s of t, well, um, in this case, I guess we didn't give, a, give an interval. There was probably supposed to be an interval for it. Um, uh, let's say t going from 0 to 2. Who knows if that's right. Um, so, so it will look like this, right? Integral from, say, 0 to t, r prime of t, dt. Um, and, well, that is just going to be um, 5t, right? So s of t is, is 5t, right? And, and so... So, so s is equal to uh, 5t, which implies that t is, uh, oops, not 5s, but 1 over 5s, 1 over 5 times s. And so if we wanted to write it in terms of the arc length parameter s, we could say, well, this is going to be uh, 3 over 5 um, s minus 1, and then 4 over 5s minus 2, okay? And now we've written it in terms of the arc length parameter, 